Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Koki Creative. My name is Elena, and today we are doing another speed build. This is the first speed build I'm doing in a while. I'm sorry, jingly today because I put on a lot of jewelry because I wanted to wear something kind of fun and kind of paranormal y. I, I don't know. I don't own a lot of funky clothes, but I just wanted to dress up for this one because this is my first build using the paranormal pack. Now, if you're wondering how I built this so fast, well, um, I actually built this not just the other day, but I've been building it for the past couple of days. I even finished some of it this morning before the new pack came out. I was kind of rushing to get it done, not gonna lie. I got up at like six o'clock. I'm like, I'm gonna get this done because I want this video to be out the day it's released. So um, hopefully this video is out on the 26th because I am doing the voiceover right now. I just finished it. Um, but I actually really like the way it turned out. Uh, I really, really like this new pack. I have not had the chance to play. It is one o'clock um, my time. So I downloaded the pack. I looked at my time for building and I think it said like 26 minutes. So I only got to look at the stuff for 26 minutes, but I have watched like a handful of like um, speed builds and early release kind of things. So I do had, I had an idea of what it looked like. So that's where I got this idea from. Since I knew that it was a super colorful pack, I decided to go really colorful and it's been a while since I've done anything really colorful. And I went with like a darker blue, um, I call this like a, a boho Victorian look, but you know, you can call it whatever you want. I just decided to have fun with it. I know a lot of people don't really love all the swatches and I totally get that. I do wish it did come with more neutrals, but uh, I do really, really like all the colorful, fun swatches that it has this too, because I like to experiment with mixing and matching. And this one definitely is a very eclectic build. I change it around a ton. So there is a lot of editing in this. So if you notice that like one minute I'm doing something, then the next minute I'm doing something else, just, you know, bear with me. I just wanted this video to be less than 30 minutes and I did not achieve that. It's 31 minutes, so I did my best. Uh, we'll see how long I can do this voiceover for <laughs> before editing some parts out. Who knows? I'm pretty good at talking, so we'll see how this goes. I just hope none of my neighbors <laughs> are walking up my stairs because you can easily hear um, whoever's in their apartment through the hallway. So hopefully they just think I'm talking to someone else, not, um, not doing a voiceover because that's embarrassing. But anyway, let's meet, let's me. Let me talk about this build. I use a lot of Discover University, um, like windows and stuff. I mean, who knew? But I just saw the color combination of like that dark blue and tan and it just reminded me of that wallpaper that comes with the new pack. So I was like, I'm gonna use a lot of the Discover University. And I also use the Island Living wallpaper for the exterior along with white brick. I changed to a different white brick in a little bit, but I, it took me a while to do this exterior just because there's it's a funky shaped house. I tend to like to have my houses kind of funky shaped. So, I mean, it's kind of hard to <laughs> figure out where I want to put windows there. So it did take me a second, especially like with the colors and I wanted to mix and match, not have all Discovery University windows and doors and pillars. So it was hard to find other doors and windows that match like that dark blue and tan. But you know, I think I did a decent job at that. And you know, this might not be everyone's style, but I might even have some of my Sims live here. It is a two bed, uh, three bath house. It does have a basement. You won't see that until a little bit later, just because I edit out the part that I do that in the beginning because it's like kind of boring. It's It takes a second because I was trying to figure out the positioning. Um, and here I'm making a little walkway. Uh, I tried making stairs between this upper level and lower level and it wasn't working. So I found these little wood pieces in the debug and I lowered them with a tool mod and they ended up looking like stairs. And my sim, I play tested, you can see her roaming about in the like deck area over there and everything works. So we're good. Um, I 
Still need to play test this full build. I mean, I literally just got done building it. I just got done putting this video together and I'm trying to finish this voiceover before my husband gets home from work because I always feel really weird doing a voiceover when he's home because as you can see, I am in my living room. We have an open concept and I can't really just like take my desktop to the bedroom and I don't really wanna be like, hey, can you go hang out in the bedroom for like a half hour and don't listen to me? So I'm trying to get it done before he gets home. Anyway, here's my landscaping. Um, I actually don't really usually do landscaping the way I'm doing it right now, uh, but I actually like the way it turned out. Uh, usually I pick an area and I finish it and then I move on to the next and I, I always use like the same four, five, six plants, bushes, whatever. But for some reason, I decided to take like one bush, go around the house and layer that one bush everywhere, take another like plant, go around the house, put that everywhere. I've done that before. It just really depends on my mood. It, but this way it really does work. Um, I found that if I use too many colors, it kind of clashes. So I always try to use like a lot of the same plants and try not to do too many. Uh, Cause a lot of like the greens can even clash. So I try to find like, if I'm gonna use certain greens, <laughs> does that make sense? I try to use all the same greens and all that. Um, and so obviously I always like to surround my greenery and any kind of pathway with some dirt. It just looks good. Um, you don't have to. And if you think it looks bad, you don't even have to do that. You can even use the eraser tool, get rid of that. <laughs> that is all up to you. Um, and I was trying to get like fancy with the exterior here by using um, some, I don't even know what to call those, uh, window decor kind of balcony things. <laughs> and I was putting um, bushes in them, just placing them around the house, just cause I wanted the exterior to really pop in the gallery. And I am building this in the magic world. Glimmerbrook, <laughs> couldn't remember the name for a second. Uh, and Glimmerbrook, the lighting in Glimmerbrook is really weird. When you're playing, it's fine, but when you're uploading it to the gallery, it can look kind of gray. So I may upload this on a different lot, but I believe it's on a 30 by 20, if I'm not mistaken, but it's a long 30 by 20. So not a lot of 30 by 20s are long. Most of them are, uh, Am I saying that right? Yeah, most of them are like deep, like they go that way. So this one is a longer one. So if you are placing this lot and it is on a 30 by 20 and you place it down, you notice that it's uh, facing the wrong direction. You have to find the long 30 by 20 to place this on. Uh, but I chose Glimmerbrook just because it's like seance, it's a new pack. This is a haunted house. So I just got done turning it into a haunted house. I have not, like I said, got to see any little ghosts yet or any of the cool new features. I'm literally, I'm gonna play this right after. Um, the girl Sim you see kind of like hanging about, um, who I'm also play testing this house with, I am going to give her a total like spooktacular paranormal makeover. I want her to be kind of like this badass, but kind of like hippie, eclectic girl. Um, kind of like me, <laughs> okay, even though I don't really consider myself badass, but like definitely kind of eclectic, someone who who likes to live in a haunted house. Like she enjoys being around ghosts. It's part of her passion. So she, she I don't know if I want her to be a ghost hunter though. Cause I think she, I just want her to like enjoy ghosts. Uh, she, We'll see, cause usually I get the idea when I'm making the sim. You'll see both up in the gallery soon. Um, if not by the time this video is up, um, it probably will be by the time this video is up. So you'll see then. Uh, I always play test everything too. So if there's anything you might notice in the video, it might be a little different by the time it's up in the gallery. It's just cause I play tested it and it needed to be slightly adjusted. Now this is the porch area and Oh my gosh, this is where I got the idea for the rest of the house and I love the way this turned out. This is even before I got the pack and this is vintage glamour chair or uh, couch and I never use this. I, I don't use vintage glamour that often just cause it's like such a stylized pack. And I was like, I'm gonna kind of go for like 
I was seeing the new pack items that have a lot of gold in it, kind of like, um, I, I was reading about it and I watched some other speed builds from people that got it early release and it's a New Orleans kind of inspired pack and it gave me like, oh wow, that just really inspired me and I used a lot of gold, a ton of color and pattern and just really went for it. So if this is not your style, I understand. I do a lot of neutral builds too, but if this is your style, then yay. I keep saying that, but I'm always really nervous when I do things that are kind of out of the norm just because I know they won't get A, as many downloads, two, not as many people are going to like it and that's fine. I just, I personally really like it, so I don't know, it's just a little part of me. I like colors. I know a lot of people don't really like super colorful builds and that's fine. Um, personally, like, if I could have... I just like so many different styles. Like if I could have multiple houses, I would have houses of all different <laughs> shapes, styles, sizes. And I love teeny tiny homes. I mean, I wouldn't want to own a mansion. I feel like that would be way too much work. Um, anyway, I feel like I'm getting sidetracked. The, I only show one bathroom. Uh, I know a lot of people cut bathrooms out of their speed builds, but I just wanted to show one just cause I, I love doing bathrooms. I always try to make my bathrooms slightly glamorous, not like, over the top, but this is the downstairs master, not downstairs master, downstairs like full bathroom. There's three full bathrooms in this house and it's for like three, four Sims. So there's plenty of bathrooms for everyone. Uh, and there's a bathroom downstairs near the seance room. So don't worry if you need to use the bathroom in the middle of the seance, you've got it. There's even a laundry room in this house. I tried to include a little bit of everything and I really tried to mix a lot of packs. So I'm sorry if you don't have a lot of packs. Um, I used a good amount. <laughs> I was like, I'm not gonna limit myself. I originally was just gonna do vampires, um, realm of magic, and base game, I think. But I was like, you know what? I kind of wanna use them all, so that's what I did. And here I'm using a trick that I like to use a lot, um, using the upper cabinets as just regular, any kind of, I don't know, shelving around the house. And you can also sit on those. So you see how I put um, little seats inside that cabinet? You can sit on those. So I just kind of like the way that looks. And if you do notice, if you have the walls down, those disappear, which I kind of like, because when I play, I don't like it when I put a ton of clutter around and my walls are half down, because I usually play with walls half down and there's just a whole bunch of floating crap everywhere and you're like, oh my gosh, it looks beautiful, but it's so annoying. So yes. All right, guys, we are in the kitchen. Let me tell you about the kitchen. I did this last night and it was giving me such a headache. I, oh my gosh, I cut out so much of this kitchen because this kitchen changed like 50 times. What never changed though was the floor because I was dedicated on keeping the floor this vampire style because I'm obsessed with it. And I've used this vampire style for kitchen floors like a thousand times, so I don't know why I was so dead set on keeping it. But I was like, I'm not changing the floor but I need to figure out this layout. It's also a really small kitchen. And I mean, everyone knows smaller or older houses have smaller kitchens. And I envision this house to be pretty old, I would say. I don't know the year. It is an odd house. It's in Glamour Brook. So I would say it's at least over a hundred years old. Uh, and I, I mean, I changed the back drop of the, like the wall color. I changed the cabinets so many times. <laughs> I, oh my gosh. I, this is where I, I'm, I'm starting to get a vision. So I'm so glad I cut out all that other stuff because this video would have been, I swear to God, like twice as long if I did not cut this out. Uh, but kitchens are usually, uh, I don't know why I didn't do it in this build, but I try to do them first just to get them out of the way because they, they don't stress me out. I really enjoy doing them, but they tend to be just really overwhelming because there's a ton of clutter in kitchens and there's always like this, I don't know, I want to say like 
you have to make the kitchens really shine in a house. Like if you want the house to be good, the kitchen is like one of the rooms. I always say the kitchen and like the living room are like two most important rooms in a house. And I just put a lot of pressure on myself when I do the kitchen and I don't want all my kitchens to look the same. And I, I mean, it's hard not to make all your kitchens look the same, especially when we only have so many cabinet choices. I was trying to use some fancy cabinet, like, ideas and I was just, they were not working, let me tell you. I tr I tried so many things and um, so at one point I'm like, okay, I just love these cabinets, these are base game. I use these cabinets all the time. If you look back at my builds, you might notice that these cabinets, these base game cabinets are like probably the most used cabinets besides the parenthood ones, um, which are amazing by the way. I almost use those, uh, but I did do something different. I use the eco lifestyle side table things on either end of this L shape cabinet area just to break it up a little bit. I just wanted to look a little different. Plus, whenever you put a ton of clatter, clatter, clutter on a um, cabinet, not cabinet. I cannot talk. Whenever you put a ton of clutter on top of a, um, I can't even say it. Is the word cabinet? Yeah, on top of a cabinet anyway. You can't use it, so I figured I might as well just use this area to clutter up anyway. And uh, here I'm doing something a little fancy using eco lifestyle uh, wall decor. I don't even know what you want to call it. I use the tool mod to like flip it and then end up giving the outside a really fancy design as well. Hmm. Also, throughout this house, I used some custom gallery art. You can find the artist in the description box below, and you can also find it in the hashtag in the gallery. Um, their name starts with a C, and unfortunately I cannot remember the name right off the top of my head. I was gonna write it down, but like I said today, I've just been like, on a roll. I even made a speed build yesterday for a starter home I just made, which you will see last, which we will see next week. Um, I've just been like, you know when you have one of those weeks where you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna like do everything. I'm having one of those weeks, but it's definitely catching up to me. Like I'm really tired today. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep really well tonight. I'm gonna tell you, I'm, I'm planning on sleeping in. Uh, what? I don't even know what day it is. It's the 26th. I'm pretty sure it's a Tuesday. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna sleep in tonight. Anywho, we are moving into the living room and I love the way this turned out. So these are my placer chairs um, and couches. So I put them, they're ugly on purpose, so that way I wouldn't accidentally like them too much and wanna keep them. Because one of my issues is, and I've done this before with, um, new builds that are for new packs. Does that make sense that the packs haven't come out yet? So I build a house ready for the pack to come out. I end up liking what I did and I don't want to replace anything. So I was like, I'm going to put ugly things in place of what I know I want to replace. And I knew for sure the couches were a done deal. Like if you've seen anything about the new paranormal pack, you've probably seen the couches and they're gorgeous. Like I want them in real life. The swatches too are so pretty. Like I know they don't come in a lot of neutral tones, but I mean, I will like die for those bright colors. I love bright colors. I know I'm like literally in my black and white house wearing all black, um, but I do love colors. Don't get me wrong. And so another funny thing I did was I used a ton of Journey to Batu stuff. I, so that pack gets a lot of crap and I get it. I totally get why, but I love the lights and the clutter that comes with Journey to Batu. So if you're on the fence of getting Journey to Batu and you're like, I don't think that packs for me. I don't like Star Wars. All that stuff looks stupid, um, but if you like beautiful hanging lights and kind of like, there's like kitchen clutter. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like pots. They have the most beautiful little pots and hanging lights. I use them in everything. I try not to, because I know not a lot of people have Journey to Batu, but 
I will use those hanging lights in everything and they're gorgeous. So if you're on the fence about it, I'm pretty sure what I'm just putting on top of the bookshelf is a Journey to Batu also. There's a lot of funky things. So if you're on the fence about it and you're like, maybe I wanna get it, I'm a big time, like if you build all the time, you're looking for new items, it is worth it in my opinion. Just saying. Unpopular opinion, I don't know. There's some stuff I really like in it. Also, I do find a lot of the Star Wars stuff kind of fun. Like uh, when I'm decorating kids' rooms, sometimes I like to use like cute little R2-D2 decoration. I did not use any of that in this house. This house is not that kind of house, but in like family houses where I'm just like, I need more kids clutter, it's, it works, works really well. But anyway, let's get back to it. Uh, so I decided to do these like little custom, I don't like end tables kind of thing. Uh, just because I'm always trying to do something a little different than I've done before. And there's only so many items we have in The Sims. So always trying to do something different. I mean, who isn't? So this is what I do. These end up changing a little bit once I get the wallpaper on the walls. Since this again, this wallpaper is just temporary wallpaper since I knew I wanted to use that like super beautiful new wallpaper that comes with the game, uh, the new pack. Also, my windows kept glitching for some reason. I don't know if anyone can tell me why. I do move them using the alt key, so it probably was because I was using the alt key, but they kept glitching whenever I was like placing new things. And another side note, uh, I really, really wanted to make the living room a sunken living room. I cut this whole part out because I think I was working on it for about 20 minutes, and that is not an over-exaggeration. I was trying to actually look at how long I was working on it for. Um, so every single time I closed off the room, the outside, uh, what are these called? Like a uh, crown molding, I guess. The outside blue crown molding kept disappearing. So I tra kept trying to put it back on that blue crown molding, but it wouldn't like go back on. Every single time I tried finding a way to put it back on, it wouldn't. Then I tried closing off the room in other ways. I tried so many different methods. Um, yeah, but it wasn't working. I'm not quite sure if it's a kind of a glitch or if I am just not uh, sim savvy. I don't know. I just love the way this looked with a sunken living room, but the exterior really suffered when I did that. So I was like, I either had to choose a better interior or better exterior. And I chose the better exterior. So if you're playing this um, and you wanna try the sunken living room, it's super easy, you just close it off with a wall, sink it down one, delete that wall, and it looks super nice. I, I might do it if I play in this house, which I might will. I might will. I might, cause it's super pretty. Uh, now this is the dining room area. I want it to be kind of cozy, nothing too crazy. And where the fireplace is, I replace it with the new fireplace. I just put that one there temporarily. I used some more custom art from the gallery that matched with the colors that I knew were coming with the new pack. This is again, I think from the same artist. Don't worry, I'll have all of the custom artwork in the description. And again, this is not like custom content. This is like no CC gallery art that you can, if you have the gallery, you can download this stuff. You can have it in your build. Awesome, even in like console players, like not just us PC players, anyone. Uh, and you know what I've been doing lately? I've been bouncing around subject to subject, but you know what? Yeah, this is a long speed build, so I'm just gonna keep talking. Um, you know what I've been doing lately? Putting clocks in my builds, and I have rediscovered my love for grandfather clocks. Um, just a little background on clocks and me. This is teeny tiny, I'm just gonna tell you. My grandparents um, on my dad's side have like a ton of clocks. Like, I mentioned this on my Instagram before when I built them their dream house. They have, like, I don't know if they collect clocks. Like, they never told me their story behind clocks. But they have a ton of cuckoo clocks, like, bird chiming clocks. Um, I, I can't even describe to you. Like, they just have a ton of clocks around. And so, whenever there's the top of the hour or near the top of the hour, because none of them are synced quite well, they even have a grandfather clock, I'm pretty sure, yeah. 
and it, they all start chiming and they all have like different chimes. <laughs> One of them is like a different type of bird every hour. One is like the classic cuckoo clock and then there's the ding dong. Um, but I always like really enjoyed that sound. But they live like in the middle of like in the farm. Anyway, so here we are in the master bedroom. I wanted to keep this yellow and green i was really inspired by colors of nature and since again this is kind of like a new orleans inspired pack i was really inspired by new orleans just in general and this is a base game wallpaper if you're not familiar with it it came with a caribbean update a couple years ago so did that plant i believe that i put next to the couch in the corner and that couch is actually a vampire's pack couch it's really pretty i've actually never used it before i never found a reason to and this build i was trying to use a lot of items that i've never used before like that couch uh now we're moving to the kids bedroom uh the kids bedroom i decided to just go with all blue but i wanted to have it be more gender neutral so depending on um whoever lives here you could have it be a son daughter non-binary whoever you want to live here you can but i also wanted to have a kind of a preteen kind of feel so that way if it is a child or a teen both could live here happily i do need to play test this because it's a very tight room so i'm not quite sure if they can get around easily but i think they can so i will play test this most likely this will not change but if it does um it will change very minorly and here we're moving down into the laundry room uh, i love the way this turned out actually i've been really enjoying making laundry rooms lately <laughs> Uh, maybe because I'm I want a laundry room myself right now. I do have a laundry closet It is right around this corner over here But it would be nice to have a big old laundry room to do all your laundry Even though you have to technically go through the seance room to get to the laundry room. So It would be kind of weird if someone is doing a seance and you're like have a basket of laundry and we're like excuse me don't mind me <laughs> or <laughs> the laundry is going in the middle of one of your seances it would be kind of weird but practicality i didn't have any other place to put a laundry room and i really wanted to put a laundry room in this build so i mean you can move it upstairs if you really want to okay i also put a radio in here because i thought it'd be kind of cute to like jam out to music while you're like folding clothes even though you can't actually do that in The Sims, but I just imagine your Sims could do that. And if you can tell, I did use a lot of Journey to Batu uh, clutter items in here too. Like I was saying earlier, good item for like, or a good pack just for like random clutter. Okay, finally, we get to the point where I get the pack and this is my first time looking through the items. And even though I have watched speed builds before, this is my first time actually interacting and moving them around. So. I was trying my best to just get this build done and I can look at the pack stuff later, but I was also really appreciating everything while I was putting everything down. I'm definitely going to take some time tonight to just play, um, probably in this build with my new Sim because she's going to be really fun. Uh, the more I think about it, I do want her to be a ghost hunter and I know you need to maximize your paranormal or medium skill before you become a medium or a paranormal hunter person so it will take some time but here i get to experiment with the whole mixing and matching of colors so everyone is talking about how these swatches are pretty outrageous so i kind of wanted to roll with it i wanted to change the coffee table to be yellow to match the curtains but i thought what if i did it red because red i put a lamp somewhere else I just really wanted to be like something completely different. So maybe it's a little too colorful for you. Maybe it's not as colorful as I've been selling it, but either way, I had a lot of fun. I try not to use the wallpaper on every single surface. So I did use some of the distressed brick on another wall, some of the distressed wood on another wall, just to kind of break up some of that like really heavy pattern. But again, like I really, really like the way these items look the the just the texture on all the items are really nice like you can tell that from the difference between the base game and now that the game is definitely 
gotten so much better over the years. I'm kind of like, oh, I can't, it makes me so excited to see what the next game pack is gonna be, what the next expansion pack is gonna be, what else we have. And like, I keep hearing so many good things about the gameplay in this. It's making me just so excited. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the last room. This is my favorite room, and I really wish I had a little bit more time to make this pretty. Um, but, I mean, the new items are just so pretty that I didn't really need to try that, that hard. I went with a yellow and blue theme, just like I had upstairs, and I had this guy's painting, I can't remember his name, but he is like the main character of this new pack. And I do have it, it's a little matchy-matchy downstairs, and I get that. I was trying not to go too matchy-matchy, but I really love this color combination of that, like, dark, like, indigo-y blue and yellow. I just think it's so beautiful. And uh, that was actually my color combination of my house before this one. And so I had a lot of fun with this. And I also used a lot of sugar skulls while decorating, you'll see that in a second, and candles, cause I just felt like that was just, kind of went with the theme and it wasn't all just from the new pack. It kind of was like mixing and matching. But we're kind of getting to the end of the speed build. Wow, can't believe I did it. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you like this speed build, you can like and subscribe. Maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you did not, that's totally fine. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.